just got a bunch of empty pros and just get them out of the just got them out of the box so if we just use the app here we can just use our finger and move it around the color wheel like this we can just use our finger to move to adjust the color it's, adjusting the color is as easy as this just moving it around the color wheel on the app and you can see i'm controlling this light uh, I can control any of these six lights that I have like this. I can control all of them at once. I love how Aperture over delivers. You think you're just getting a, a light, but you're getting this, this skirt type of thing. You're getting this also. It's a little tripod. Thank you, Aperture. Didn't need to, but you did. Over delivered. And of course, the Bluetooth capability that lets me know how much battery I have left. That's one thing I hate with the Zoom F2s. I didn't get the Bluetooth model. I ordered accidentally and I passed my return period. So I'm stuck with these F2 microphones that I have no idea how much battery life is left in. It's a guessing game every time. Not with something like this, not with a display in the back like this and not as, even on the app. The app also shows how much battery power is left. I love that. I love the simple things that make our lives easier. Quick example of the effectiveness of this also aperture thanks for the case you get the case it's got a handle i can travel with these things i feel safe with them you open it up you get your light obviously but you also get this skirt am i is it a skirt it's a skirt now your light i was trying this one on earlier um what does this do well I was just playing with it because my idea is to actually, hold on, let's actually turn this one off real quick. Uh, I got other ones. Some, this is, I'm not prepared. Let's put this green one over here for now. This is what I'm thinking. So let's just, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to up the intensity all the way up. I'm going to go to green because that's my favorite color. Simple as tapping, tap, tap, tap away on this. Now, so my idea was to use light to paint the white wall behind me, right? So if my company's color is green, I'm going to put this right behind my talking head footage. So this angle catches it. Now you notice that angle right there, the side angle, profile talking, profile me talking head, doesn't catch much of this green light on that background here. You can see some, especially if I point it out like that. It point, it's, it's a lot easier to see here. But when I'm just angling it, again, with this skirt thing on it, I can really be directional with, I can be really intentional about where I'm painting with this light. So I can just put it right behind me, not minimal spill over here behind me, right? Now, if we compare that to this one, as is, you'll see the difference. There it is behind me again. You'll see that it fills up a lot more space on the background behind me, as well as over here to the left of me. You'll see it spilling out in both of these shots. This is without the skirt. Oops. And this is with the skirt. Again, it's directly right behind me. It's in the same placement. What I like about this one is, as well as you can angle it. So it's kind of something like like this, like a spotlight, if it kind of gives you spotlight vibes. It's a lot more directional. You can get creative with the angles, something like this. You can go more of like a diagonal uh, streak of light, light people, correct me. I know, I, I know I'm stepping into a realm that I am a grasshopper in. And so I invite your comments. Go ahead, educate your boy. Look at the direction, like the, this is hard when you're, I'm trying to control this thing behind me while multicamming this by myself. Here we go. Let's. I'm looking over at the monitor too. I I had this configuration that I really liked. Hold on. Mother, come on. It's like watching a mirrored image of yourself in real time. I'm over here looking to my left of an image of me looking to the right, and I'm trying to coordinate something behind my back. Angles matter. Motherfucker. Come on. 
I hope you get the idea. It'll be easier next week when Tom's coming over. We have a couple of volunteers to come help us shoot what's going on in this video podcast studio and the options available. I can't do it all at once. I'm trying to right now. I'm just playing around. But you get the idea of how we can add color to a backdrop. That's one. Uh, and then you'll see. So let's switch it up. It's really as easy as that. Just changing the color what to whatever whatever the client's needs are. Just change it, however, like that. I forgot I had one of these on the ground, so this might have been spilling into the background this whole time. Uh, but just shows you the versatility. There's also a thread over here for mounting. I have it mounted in a different way over here, so it's more vertical lighting. That's one cool thing I wanted to show off, too, is let's select this motherfucker right here. When you select it, it's going to, like, flash. There you go. Then we're going to go into this one. Let's go bubble the intensity. And let's go with, like, you know, just for this demonstration purpose. I can tell in this angle, at least on the monitor, it just looks white. It's hard to tell color. But in this angle right here, the side angle, you can see, I mean, why did I pick yellow? It's too close to white. Let's go blue. There we go. You can see how you can use these as practical lights if this was in the background mounted up on the wall or something, right? We could do practical lights in the background like this, or else we could stack it up or whatever. And now you're, you're going to even see a lot more rim light on me in a colored way. I think for this example, using something like this would be better for rim light. It's very directional, very intentional. We could do that. I mean... The, again, this is, I can't do this on myself while I'm like shooting and trying to get the look because I'm not looking. I want to like look at the monitor, but I, I should put the monitor right behind here. <sighs> anyway, I thought about different orientation. <laughs> Don't you ever try and light yourself while you're monitoring yourself? Let's see. This one doesn't have the little skirt on it. Let me put that on this motherfucker right here. Hey, look. Aperture thought about this. They said, let's not make it hard. Let's reduce the amount of actions that our users have to do. If they want to take this on or off, they made this little nook right here in, in the scrim, in the skirt. So that I wouldn't have to unscrew and screw it again, saving me time. Thank you. All right. So now we have two of these very directional lights. And I'm going to try and get it situated. There's the blue on that side. There's the red on that side. Does it look what I think it looks like? I can't see. Also, motherfucker, I just... You know, it'd be interesting if I turn this light off. Actually, let me try that real quick. Now I have to let the autofocus find me as well. But I'm assuming this is working. Okay. You could go for a dramatic type of look, right? Hi, I'm being dramatic. I'm being cool. I'm a colorist. I wonder how it looks in the side angle. Well, shit, you can see it in the freaking side angle. What if you want like that? No, you can't. But it still hit this side. Boom. Let me just set up my arms so I can just... This is the look I was going for when me and Alessandro did that episode of Watch and Learn. We were reviewing the tenant. Obviously, I want to... Anyone who watched the tenant would get it right away. However, I was using those other... Uh, aperture lights, those little like credit card size ones with gels on it. I didn't have mounts. It was all last minute and I was using my phone to record. This is a lot different. This is also a setup that I can use for any kind of Zoom call, uh, webinars, video conferences, all of that. I can, I can use this setup. Over the top, unnecessary, maybe, yeah. But if that's what you're going for, it's possible, right? Not only that, I mean, right now, I'm actually holding up these two lights like this. 
I hope autofocus is catching me and I hope I'm actually getting it right. It's not in like this shot blocking, but it's just showing the possibilities available. And it's, it's kind of fun. Here's another option. I think it looks good in this camera, the straight view, the straight on view looks pretty good. The profile one, I think it's lacking a bit of rim light. You know, you could do one like this, but see now it's, now it's, now it's getting tricky because now I have to hold it. There we go. There we go. Here's another look. We have more of an infinite background, but we have color one key light, color two rim light. Here's another look. One color key light, one color rim light. Here's another look. Scary story at the campfire. Floating face. Sandwich face. 